This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Cleese, Jim Marbella. I'm at the Liverpool Echo Arena today ahead of the Frank Warren card in Liverpool. With me, I've got the WBO European champion, Jack Catterall. What's happening, Jack? How are you doing, James? All right? Oh, all right. How's your Christmas? Yeah, good, thank you. Just uh, ticking over nicely, enjoyed some nice food. Back to work now, though. Lee Beard putting through your paces over, over the Christmas Yeah, we had day. Christmas Day off, but we was in, we had, uh, was in New Year's Day, so no rest, really. Just ticking over. Last time out, we saw you in action against Tom Stalker, former GB captain. A fantastic win for yourself. In what a fight was billed as a 50-50 fight. Are they the sort of contest you're looking for this year? Yeah, just uh, like I said to Lee and Frank, I don't mind who I fight. As long as the fight makes sense, we'll go with it. But fighting Tom uh, was a good fight last year and uh, looking to move on from that now. Mm -hmm. Heard some rumours and some murmurs about our potential opponents today. Can you confirm who you're going to be fighting on the Liverpool Yeah, we just uh, had confirmation fighting Martin Gathin now on the next one. Going to defend the European title. So, I'm excited with that. I mean, he's a great fighter, Gethin. He's fought a very decent level. Uh, challenging for the British title against Terry Flanagan quite recently. Um, split decision is again against Derry Mathis, as we spoke about. Really puts you in the shop window this fight, doesn't it? Yeah, he's had, uh, had the British title. I know he fought in an eliminator for a world title, I think it was. So, Gethin's no mug, tough fighter. Uh, I just think it's a good, good time to fight him now. Uh, not overlooking it whatsoever. Just we've got eight weeks now, so I can do a bit of studying and go to work. Do you pay a lot of attention watching your opponents in their past videos, or do you kind of leave that stuff to Lee Beard? Uh, Lee always has a great game plan, but I think got to, uh, got to do your own homework as well. So not at the beginning of my career, but sort of the last couple of fights now, start watching the fights back and uh, just learning. Do you think that's a kind of a natural progression in yourself, where you're understanding the game a little bit more? And kind of make yourself a bit more aware? Yeah, I just feel like I'm learning non-stop at the moment with Lee and the team, so, but as myself as well, you learn a lot more about the game, things that go on, so I know it's good just to do your own homework, I think. Mm. End of last year, as we spoke about, you captured that WBO European title. This year, maybe towards the end of, next, uh, towards the end of this year, pushing on for big things? Yeah, just take each fight as it comes. Uh, obviously, the main focus now is going to be Martin Gethin. Uh, said to Lee and Frank after that, We'll sit down and see where we go from there, but I'm just happy to get out again in March. Do you feel as if the opponents are getting tougher now? They're stepping up? Yeah, I know that. Obviously, the last two fights have been tough, and I don't expect now to drop back down to having some easy fights. I know every fight now I've got to turn up and uh, do the business. Yeah. All right, well, listen, give your dad my regards. Hope him and your brother and the rest of the family had a good Christmas. Um, Thank you very much, James. Really you appreciate too. you talking to IFL, mate, and um, we'll catch you again real soon. Thank you very much. Top man. Cheers, Jack. Cheers.